Shopify product page SEO is an important part of having your products rank in Google and drive free traffic to your website. Hey, it's Mikey at the Hair Business Blueprint and today I'm gonna show you the basics of on-page SEO for your Shopify products. Now, SEO can get really complex, but if we go through it step by step, you'll see that knowing 20% of the most important items will give you 80% of the results. We can worry about the other 80% later as it can get very overwhelming. Now, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get updates on how to grow your hair business or really any online store. Since I'm in the beauty industry, hair, mostly hair specifically, cosmetics, lashes, my tutorials will generally be hair related, but it's plug and play for all products online. Okay, so let's get started in some product page SEO for a Shopify store. All right guys, so we are gonna work on this Bodywave HD lace front hole. Um, I already see a couple issues that we can fix with this. I, I don't know why it was set to 16 inch, uh, but we're gonna go through this. Uh, so basically, this is just a real quick, easy product page. There's not much to it, but we're gonna have to go through what this really looks like. Uh, if you go through here, uh, this is kind of the before. You have your title, which is fine. You have a little bit of description. You have your photo. You have uh, all your different links available. And then you have the edit SEO, website SEO. So this is the meta description title, and this is the meta description. So what happens is we're gonna have to go through and make some edits to this, and I'm gonna show you some real good uh, basic stuff that you can do pretty quickly, actually. So first things first, we need to add a little bit to the description because it's just not enough for, a, for Google to rank this page. It's just not enough information. Now, if this is your own website and you have influencers or additional product shots, you definitely would wanna load this up with additional product shots. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just gonna have this one to keep it simple, but there's one very important thing that you need to do with that. Okay, the variants, you don't really have to worry about those too much, but we are gonna edit uh, this information here and you're gonna see why. So if we go over and we search Google for Bodywave HD Lace Frontal, this is where you're gonna wanna start because a lot of these, um, you know, a lot of the search results are gonna give you an insight of what people are searching for and you know what's gonna be important uh, for your product page. Now, the first couple ones are ads, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, so if we go down, you can see the first one is Amazon. So we, um, you have a couple Amazons. And what we're looking at is this information here and then the title here. Uh, so this information, this title, this is the meta title. So basically what you're putting over here is going to show up in Google in theory, because sometimes Google just puts what they want, will show up here. And then the meta description, this information down here that's what should show up in this information area here. Uh, and once you have reviews and everything else, you can start getting the stars showing up uh, inside the Google search results. So that's why it's so important to get reviews for your website. Because honestly, if you're looking at this page, this, the ones with the stars are definitely gonna be the ones that you're gonna click on and really drive you know, people looking. Actually, since I'm searching over here, private label, that's me by the way. Um, so we're over here and that's also important for your, for your local search, but that's a whole nother video. Okay, so let's go back to here. Now, I've went through on another tab and I've updated uh, some additional information. So let's go through that. So I have pretty much this information staying the same, but I wanted to add an additional paragraph of text to kind of talk about, you know, a little bit about the product. I linked over to a, uh, you know, if you're buying this, you're probably buying the matching bundles to go with it. So I went ahead and added a link to that. So if someone's purchasing this, they know they can click over to this link and find the matching bundles that they're gonna be looking for anyway. Uh, but it's somewhat strategic over here. So there's a keyword generator called Ahrefs. And let me go here before I search. I'm gonna have a link to the description or link to this page in the description below. Uh, and this is just a free keyword generator. 
And I searched body wave HD lace, it didn't really come up with many results, so I just shrunk it down to HD lace frontal. And you can see all of the different results here. So these are some good ideas of what you should include inside your description, title, and SEO titles or SEO descriptions. So like HD lace frontal, the KD means keyword difficulty. This means how hard it is to rank, how many times it's searched every month. So it's 6,000 times a month. Could you imagine being in the first position for this and getting about, you know, you'd probably get about half of those visits, 3,000 a month. You know, you're gonna be selling a ton of these frontal, frontals just by default. HD lace frontal wig, so that's important. So we're not selling, you know, this product page is an HD frontal, lace frontal, but I'm gonna show you where I tied in the HD lace frontal wig. 13 by six HD lace frontal, that's a different product uh, because this is a 13 by four. And as you can see, you can go through some of these items here. So going back, you can see that you know this body wave frontal is made with invisible HD lace, 100% human hair. The frontal will cover ear to ear when constructing an HD lace frontal wig. You see how I tie that in? Because people search HD lace frontal wig and that's related to HD lace frontal. So you can see how I kind of snuck that in there in the conversation. You don't want to stuff it so it doesn't seem organic. You know, you don't want to just keep putting the terms in there, but if it makes sense in a sentence, it's something that's really smart that you can do. Uh, so you're going to want to go through, do not copy anyone's descriptions, just go through with your own descriptions. You're going to be way better off um, and you're going to be looking pretty good here. Now the photos, this is something real important. So you want to make sure that you're naming your photos the same as your product. So Body Wave HD Frontal, that's what this is. And where a lot of people uh, you know, lose sight is the alt text. You got to add the alt text, so HD Body Wave Frontal. Just like that, that's going to help, uh, help you show up in image search results because Google, they kind of have eyes these days, but not 100%. So if you are with the text, the alt text, you're telling Google what this photo is. Okay, so you don't want to, once again, overdo it, stuff it. You know, if it's a model wearing it, you might want to say, you know, model wearing body with a body with HD lace frontal, something like that. You know, that's up to you. So just like I said, just be careful of as far as like Google knows when you're trying to overdo it. I promise you. Uh, so once again, you don't have to do too much with the lengths. Uh, down here, it's going to say, you know, it's going to give you your title, Body Wave HD Lace Frontal, 100% human hair. Um, you know, you can, you can add a little bit more. It adds up to 70. You might want to stop there. Now, with Shopify, it tells you you have 320 characters for the description. Honestly, I don't really think that is true. Is really, a, Google looks at the first 160, a lot of SEO programs, everything else uh, will say the same. So you wanna put a lot of good information in here. Another place that you can find good information and questions is if you search Body Wave HD Lace Frontal or whatever your product is and look at the LSI keywords. These are other keywords that people are searching so you might wanna consider putting these somewhere in your description. Uh, that's both the product description, product page description, or your meta description, okay? So if you do that, you're gonna have a lot better chance of showing up in Google. So you know what I have here, if I refresh this, on the front end, you're probably not gonna notice too much more than just this here as far as the description, but the metadata that most people aren't gonna see unless you look at the tab at the top, they're not even gonna know that you've made these changes within your Shopify store. Um, but if you focus on just those key metrics, you know, doing a little bit of research for each product, uh, going through and just searching Google and seeing what other people are ranking for. If you use the free keyword generator by Ahrefs, that's really important. You can even go over here to questions. And if you wanted to add a question, let me click that I'm not a robot. I might be sometimes like, what is an H, what is HD frontal? What is a HD frontal? Uh, these are questions people are asking. Questions aren't necessarily the best for product pages. They could be good for a pro, uh, category page or a blog post, uh, but HRS does give you those other uh, kind of key terms. It's worth looking at though, because it's good for you to have a higher level of understanding. So if you have any questions about on, on site, product page SEO for Shopify. Make sure you leave it in the comments below. And of course, 
make sure you subscribe to the hair business blueprint because i have tons and tons of more tutorials coming for you and i really want to help grow your business